Oh my god, it's a bunny rabbit! Oh my god, it was a bunny rabbit! It just disappears. And I can't wait so we can break about the if I seem a little unimpressed with this antisocial pessimist. What's going on guys, Dry right here, I got a brand new video here today, and today we got another part to the series where we go over the lion cycle, glitches, secrets, and more. And today we got Artifact, one of the new maps that just came out recently. And yeah, let's get right into it. Holy, okay, this looks like a big map, I don't know if it is a big map. Well, actually, let me see, if I'm sprinting... Oh, it seems big, but it's not actually big. I've literally never played this map at all. I have yet to play it, I have no idea what to expect on this map, but uh... It seems big, but it doesn't look like it's that big. And it looks like it's just a bunch of rocks everywhere, so I don't feel like there's going to be much secrets on this map. Maybe glitches, lines of sight. I can find a couple lines of sights on this map, but... Yeah, this is my first time playing this map, so this looks cool. But anyways, let's start off with glitches first. So I looked up to see if there was any glitches that I could do, and unfortunately, there's no glitches on this map. I take that back, there is two glitches that I saw. One requires one other player, which I do not have. Then another glitch is, I, I tried it, it was over in the uh, in the iceberg inside of it, but I could not do it. I don't know if Treyarch patched it already, I don't know if it's just really difficult to do, but um, where is it at? I think it's like over here. Yeah, right where this ladder is, right here on the side of the map, you go in this cave, and what you're supposed to do is aim your grapple like right here. And then you're supposed to like switch to options and then press Y really fast, like it's it's really difficult to do. I don't know if it's working at all, I don't know if Treyarch patched it, but I couldn't do the glitch, so I'm gonna assume that Treyarch patched it, and um, yeah, unfortunately there's no glitches, so I'm sorry about that. Maybe in the next video there might be more glitches, but um, yeah, anyways, let's move on to secrets next, and uh, let's see if we can find some cool stuff. So one secret on this map that I've noticed is anywhere you see like a flat top of a rock area, because most of this map is covered with rocks, but if you see like a flat top area, that means you can mantle up top and walk around on top of the rock. This one, for example, is flat. You can go up top. This uh, this rock right here, not flat, so you can't go up, unfortunately. So anywhere you see a flat top of a rock area like there, you can mantle up top and uh, have access to it. Whoa, what the heck? I guess that's another secret. I didn't even know about that until I just turned into this direction, but I guess there's a geyser right here that goes off every certain amount of minutes, maybe? In seconds? I'm not sure. But, uh, but it seems like the geysers go off. It's pretty cool. We got a bird right here. What type of bird is this? I don't know what bird this is, but it looks cool. Well, it was cool. Another secret if you didn't know on this side of the map right here. There's like this big pipe right here where you can go inside. Uh, but if you didn't know, you can mantle up top and camp up here. Maybe get a good angle from right here. And I'm assuming you can go up top of right here. Yeah. So both pipes you see, you can go on top of. Now another secret that I just found out, I didn't even mean to do this. And I feel like most people that play this map already know about this, but I've never played this map, so this is really cool. Right here on this side of the map where this ladder is, if you go up top, it's like a slide, and I don't know if you, here, let me try going back. Okay, so we're climbing up the ladder, and it slides you off like I'm not even putting any pressure on the joystick. Let me try grappling back. What happened? Oh, okay, so it slides you. I, I'm, push, I'm pushing forward on the joystick, and it's not doing anything, and it's not letting me use my grapple. It only lets me use my grapple if I land on the ground, so that's unfortunate. So I feel like the only way to get to the other side, this might be like a quick fast travel, is this only works if you have a grapple and a gravity spike. I guess what you want to do is uh, run up, maybe grapple right to the end. Oh, you don't need a gravity slam, you can just grapple right at the end right there, you can just jump over a little slide, that's pretty cool. I guess that's a little fast travel to flank the enemy. Another little secret if you didn't know, every vehicle you see on this map, you can jump up top of it, it's pretty cool. This is like this big pipe right down here, you can go underground and flank the enemy, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you didn't know, you can mantle up top here, If you, instead of going around uh, this truck right here, you can mantle. And this one as well, you can also mantle it, it's pretty cool. And that one, um, wait, can you do that one? Yeah, you can, so that's... What the heck was that? 
I heard a voice. What was that? I don't know what that voice was. You might we might have to check that out a little bit later on. But uh, yeah, you can mantle on top of this vehicle. What is that noise? Oh my God! There's penguins on this map. Wait, is that a penguin? Wait, that bird I saw over there—that was a penguin. Wait, these are penguins? Or are these birds? Wait, I'm so confused. Wait, they're birds, right? They look like birds. Well, penguins are birds, right? But these, I don't know. I'm so confused. But anyway, these things look so cute. They were cute. Another secret is in here, in this tent right here. You can see, wait, is that a, what is that? Is that a bandage from Blackout? It looks just like it. Wait. That looks like the bandage from Blackout. The one that gives you 25 HP. I don't know if that's the right one, but... Yeah, I don't know if that's the right one. I'm not sure, but that's pretty cool. But um, this blueprint right here is uh, the map artifact, the one we're playing on right now. I mean, once we go in theater mode, I'll show you from a bird's eye view, but uh, this is the artifact map, which is pretty cool that they have uh, the map here. Also, there's a blueprint of the Odin, I believe, statue. Oh, wait, it says, yeah, Odin. Odin statue. Oh, wow, it says it right there. <laughs> it says it right there. This is the Odin statue from Zombies. If you play the Zombies in Black Ops 4, you would know that the statues have perks in it. And the Odin statue is in this map, which is pretty cool. Let me try to find that real quick. Here we are, we got the Odin statue. Yeah, this is the same exact statue. This one's just covered in ice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's pretty cool that they added a, a zombie tribute into a multiplayer DLC map, which is pretty cool. It's about to erupt. Oh my god, that scared me. Oh, dude, I actually jumped. It's a good thing I don't have a face cam. Holy cow, dude, what the heck? I didn't think they would kill me. Okay, so that's another secret. If you go on top of a geyser that's about to erupt, just back off because you're gonna die if you're on top of it. Another secret on this map, well, it's not really a secret. Uh, the birds that you see all over the map, you can uh, you can shoot the birds, obviously, like I showed you before. Like, you can shoot them. But uh, I guess it's a kind of a little bit of a warm-up course a little bit. I mean, you could play against bots and you could warm up like that, but uh, if there's a bunch of birds, you can just like try to work on your snap aim to the target like see I'm working on it I don't have the best aim but I can just snap to the target readjust really quick and then maybe like one two and there's no more birds but so if you see like a lot of birds just sitting together like over there maybe like boom boom and then boom and then oh that's one right there I didn't even see that one there's one right there yeah, so you can just like mess around and shoot all the birds. And uh, maybe work on your aim a little bit. I don't know if that would help, but it doesn't hurt to try. Okay, so another secret that I found, I was just running around just looking at everything, and uh, there's these like fossils right here. Some human remains. I got buried right here. But uh, if you see this camera and you have a sniper and you zoom in, this is coalescence. Now, if you don't know what coalescence is, it's a. It was in the Black Ops 3 campaign. And it was like the big company that made stuff. I think it was, they made the robots, I believe. I could be wrong on that. But it was in the Black Ops 3 campaign, I remember. And that was the company, Coalescence. So that's pretty cool that they they have it here. Okay, I'm going to try to kill the bunny rabbit. So I know it sounds mean, but we're going to try to do it. So I know it comes out from this area. Wait, is there a hole in there? No. Okay, so... Oh, oh I'm terrible. Oh, I hit it! There was blood came out! You saw that? There was blood that came out! It doesn't die. I'm gonna try that again. Let me see if I can kill it. Oh, dang. Dang. I don't think it dies, but it does have blood come out. Another secret if you didn't know, if you see, like, a flat top of the rocks, uh, you can do some hardcore parkour. You can jump to... Okay, well, I'm a bot, so I can't do that one, but... If you run and jump, you can sprint. And jump up to the other side of the rock. Uh, this one, for example, if you're down here and you're trying to get up here, you can just, like, run around, mantle. Or not even run around, you can just mantle. You can just mantle and then do some hardcore parkour and you can get up top. So anywhere that you see a flat top, you can most likely get on top of it if you just do some mantling and some parkour. I guess another little secret if you didn't know, if you're trying to fast travel or trying to flank an enemy, could use the pipes above you 
to your advantage. So, like for example, uh, the cylinder, these concrete pillars might ruin your attempt to flank the enemy. But if you like go to the side, maybe. Okay, there's a. I forgot there's not a flat area. So let me see if we let's see if we can find an area. So like this is an open area. So if I'm trying to like fast travel, flank the enemy, just like boom, just like that. You can flank the enemy. I'm not sure what spots work the best and what doesn't. Just try to avoid the concrete pillars. Another secret if you didn't know, uh, I told you earlier, you can go on top of the vehicle. But if you didn't know, you can run and jump to this ledge. Or not ledge, it's a uh, jump up area. You can uh, just jump up top, just like that. It's pretty easy. So those are all the secrets that I know. Sorry it wasn't much. Hopefully the next video will have a lot more. But uh, yeah, there's not really much going on in this map. There's like a few things and a lot of rocks and there might be a few line of sights. There's some that I found that are pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys that next. So uh, yeah, let's move on to line of sights next. I feel like on this map, a lot of the rocks on this map are like pretty high up. So you can like, you can head glitch on the rocks to your advantage. So like this one, for example, I'm not going to show you all the rocks because there's a bunch of rocks on this map. I'm not going to show you all the line of sights. So if you see like rocks, it has like a flat top, you could like try to crouch down next to it, maybe use it to your advantage. If there's like a really good line of sight that has to do with the rocks, then I'll show you. This one's really good too. You can see like where I'm at right here. You can just jump on top of the rock. As you can see, it's a flat top and you can head glitch it to your advantage. This is what I was talking about earlier, but this one's a really good spot that I figured I'd show you guys. Now, I've never played this map before, so I don't really know how it plays out, but if I had a Take in basic Call of Duty knowledge. When you're playing like any game mode, one team spawns on this side of the map and another team spawns on that side of the map. So I feel like another good line of sight is if you spawn over here, just work your way towards the right side and just if you have an AR or a sniper, this is a really good spot. You can just head glitch this slide right here. I feel like the slide is very popular because it's like really fun to do. And I feel like enemies will be coming through here a lot. So this is a good line of sight right here. Just looking at the slide, and uh, people won't really expect you to be right here, so this is a good spot. I feel like this line of sight right here in the middle of the map is really good, and you can just head glitch this side. I feel like this is a very good spot to be in right here. These crates head glitch right here. Uh, but this iceberg right here, you can just duck down, get some cover, lay down, peek back up, and shoot anyone's coming from this direction, or up this direction, or right here. This is overall a good spot, and this spot right here with the crates is also a good spot as well. You can just head glitch the crates, looking down the lanes right here. Another good really line of sight is right here on the back of the map. This is like the very back of the map. There's these rocks right here, and if you crouch down, you can get a good head glitch looking down the lanes of each side right here. This is a really good spot. Um, another spot that I found it was over here. You can just head glitch this. This is not really a good spot. I mean, it's alright, I guess, but if there's people flanking and you know they're coming from this way, you can just jump, not jump up top. You can just, like, walk up right here and uh, get a good line of sight from right here. Another line of sight is right here on top of the pipe. I showed you this earlier where you can go on top of it and get a good angle on certain enemies, but uh, honestly, this is a really good line of sight, too, so I figured I'd, why not do both? Put them in both. Another line of sight, if you didn't know, if you uh, lay down, you can... I kind of see like a little bit of the other side. So like if there's someone like literally right there where my dot is, then you can like shoot their feet and kill them. So if you see a vehicle, you can most likely look under it, like this one for example, and uh, shoot the enemies coming from like this way. It's kind of hard to see. It's not really the best strat to do, but it works, I guess, if you, if you want to do that. This car has a little bit of a line of sight looking under it. So, I mean, if you have to get, like, the right timing on the enemy. And, uh, you won't kill them unless you're playing hardcore, but you can definitely get them weak. Another line of sight, if you didn't know, you can just jump on top of this blackout vehicle that's orange. You can get a good little line of sight if you crouch down from this side right here. Maybe over here a little bit. Maybe over here. Uh, can you not? Uh, another head glitch is right here. You just head glitch on these orange crates. Same thing with over here. Pretty nice, I guess. Okay, so those are all the line of sights that I know. It was a decent amount, not a lot, but there was definitely a decent amount, and they were all pretty good, so... It's a 10 out of 10 out of my book, so... 
That'll be it for Line of Sight, and we're, we're going to move on to theater mode next, and uh, I know something that happened in the beginning of the map, so we're going to look at that. We're going to look at the bunny rabbit, and we're going to look at the view and see how far we can go outside the map, or maybe under the map, so yeah. So yeah, that'll be it with Line of Sight, so let's move on to theater mode next. Okay, so here we are in theater mode. I know something happened in the beginning, so let's see what happens here. Oh, okay. So, a helicopter, an attack helicopter, actually destroys the pipes. Was it normal at first? Let me see. It does not look like it, so let me fast forward a bit. Okay, so, helicopter just came in. We're gonna pause it right here, actually. Let's see if we can go inside. Oh my god. This looks cool. Interesting. Nothing going on here, so... Yeah. Um, it looks like a helicopter that we looked at in the past. It's pretty much the same thing. Alright, so this helicopter is destroying the pipes right here. Was that on fire before? Wait, oh it wasn't. That's pretty cool. Can we go inside? No. Yeah, we can't get inside, unfortunately, but hey, this is pretty cool though. Alright, so the helicopter shoots the pipes. What happens? It spins and it's off. And it's gone. Right in there. Dang. That's pretty cool. That that thing happens. Can't uh, the, there. Oh, the geyser. Uh, here are the geysers, so they go yeah. off. So there's only three geysers on this map, is from what I'm understanding. Well, there's multiple geysers, but I feel like the only ones that go off are the ones right here in the side of the map. There's only three right here. They're all together. And they go off throughout the map, so if you like fast forward, yeah, you see them bubble, and if they bubble, they go off. Alright, so we're gonna find that bunny rabbit. Let me, let me just see if we can find this. So it's right here, and we're just gonna fast forward, maybe we'll find it. Once we find it, we'll slow down the, the game here, and maybe we'll get a good close-up on the bunny rabbit. So the bunny rabbit, oh, that's so cute! Wow. Where did it come out of? It came out of that rock. Here, let me see where it comes out. Oh, there we go. So it comes out of the rock and it starts hopping its way to the other side. Let's see where it goes. I'm assuming it just disappears into the rock, maybe? And it looks like it went through the rock. Okay, my immersion is ruined. Or maybe the rabbit's a ghost, I don't know. Either way, I'm scarred for life. Let me get a close look up on these birds right here, slash penguins. I don't know what these birds are. They look similar to penguins, but they're some type of bird that I don't know of. I mean, it looks really cool. Yeah, there's a lot of birds on this map, so you can definitely get like a... A little bit of a practice trying to shoot the birds. Oh wow. I'm under the water right now. This is what it looks like under the water? Oh wow. That's really weird. What about over here? Can we go... Ooh, this one's deeper. Oh yeah, it's way deeper. Oh my god. What about over here? Damn. What about the one that spawned? This one. Oh wow. This looks cool. Can't go under the map, it won't let me. Let me get a bird's eye view from all the way up top and look down. Alright, so we, this is the highest we can go. We're pretty high up. Why does that look glitched out? That is darker than the other side. That does not look right, but this looks pretty cool. I mean, look at that. Wow. Okay, what the heck is all those pixels right there? Those shadow pixels, what the heck? Are you playing Minecraft again? What the heck? This looks pretty cool. And the map is so small. I mean, the map was kind of small when I ran around, but like, actually looking at it from a bird's eye view, it looks really small. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> Yo, I went back, I, I like, I went to the very be- Oh, there's a helicopter. Oh, dang. Oh, wow, it's just floating. This is like when you, before you spawn in. I guess this is where the helicopter goes. Dang. And then once a match starts, it goes 
over there and teleports, yeah, I see. So this is where it starts in the beginning, that's pretty cool. But these birds, like, right in the beginning, before they spawn in to the actual match, they're like, rendering in, like, what the heck? Hold on, let me see if we can find a better look up close over here. Yeah, all birds on this map, they are, their wings are out, they're like, rendering in, like, what the heck? And their statues, they, they don't even move. So some of them are, like, yeah, see, they're, like, loading in. What the heck? One by one, each bird is loading in. See, like, they're all their wings are out, and they slowly are loading in the birds, and they start moving. That's pretty cool. It's like in-game coding or stuff like that. Like, it has to do before the match starts. Like, everything's loading in and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. A little bit behind the scenes inside the map. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this video. And as well as theater mode. This is a cool map overall. A lot of cool stuff. Very different and interesting. I really like the slide hill over right here. That's pretty cool. A lot of sites are pretty cool. And the secrets on this map are also pretty cool. No glitches, unfortunately. But hopefully next video will have glitches. And uh, yeah, that'll be pretty much it for theater mode. This map overall is a good map. I never played it actually in multiplayer yet, but from what it seems like and looking over everything, it's it's a really good map. So yeah, that'll be it for theater mode. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully you learned some new things and uh, from the secrets or the line of sights, and hopefully you use that stuff that you learned into your actual gameplay. And sorry about no glitches on this map, I honestly, the, the ones that I tried are difficult, and I need another player to do the other one, so it's like, I can't really do it at all, but, um, so sorry about that, and, uh, yeah, that'll be pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Uh, what the heck was that?